Just like you said it. For the camera. <laughs>
and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today you establish between worlds and a lifelong partnership. For believers, God is the source of all love and fidelity because God is full of love. So, let us listen attentively to his words and let us humbly pray to him that he may grant you and your heart's desires and fulfill every one of your prayers. Please be seated. Go for the history. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up in its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. How good is the Lord to all. How, How good is the Lord, Lord to all. all. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. How good is the Lord to all. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. How good is the Lord to all. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his deeds. The Lord is close to all who call him, who call on him in truth. How good is the Lord to all. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. How will he not also give us everything else among him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
what God has joined together, no human being must uh, be, no human being must be separated. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human beings must be separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, especially William and Emma, we are here to gather together, especially to pray for them in a very, very, very special way. And I would like to share a small story. It happened long back, maybe 60, 65 years back. The, back in India, I'm from India, and uh, especially from Kerala, there was a first graders came to the classroom for the first time, and there is no um, play school at that time, no kindergarten, nothing. They come first day to the, first, uh, to the classroom as the first graders. And the teacher, the one who was there, she was a math teacher, mathematics. So he, she went and wrote on the board, one plus one is equal to what? You people know, I know. See, you are all smiling, you know what is the answer. But they are very small kids, just four years, five years old. They do not know. No. Some said it's eight, some said it's ten, some said it's five, and different, different answers came up. And towards the end, uh, she looked around and she saw a little boy all the way behind. His name is Balu. Balu showed up his hand and he said, I know teacher what it is. So teacher said, okay, come on, Balu, what is the answer? And he said, very slowly, he said, 1 plus 1 equal to one big long one. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what happened. The class, everybody started to smile and shout at him, noise, laughing and everything. But the teacher was being holding on for herself not to laugh. But the boy was very serious. While he was being standing there without any hesitation, so, can you repeat that? And he said, yes, teacher, one plus <coughs> one is equal to big one, long one. And it, can you explain that? Come up to the, to the near to the teacher. So, he, he came from there and he said, one river plus joins with another river, it becomes one big long river. Is it two or one? One, right? Is he right? He is right. One river joins with another river, it becomes one big long river. If he is right, they are right. And God is right. Jesus is right. Jesus knows exactly the same thing what he said. They become one flesh. No more two in there. They are going to become one flesh rest of their life. They are going to think the same way. They don't say that this my water is very good water, I don't want to join with the other water. The rivers never say that. Once they are joined together, they flow as a one river. Big river, long river. Same way they become. William and Emma. No separation in them. No more. They think the same way. They are going to Hope for everything the same way. Don't say this is mine, this is yours. No. We are going to become one. For that, what they needed is your love and support, always and at every time. Actually, that's what they are asking you in their heart. Pray for us. You people have already started your life. We are just going to start today. 
you have to pray for us. That's what they were saying. And that's what we heard in the second reading. St. Paul was telling. In the love of God, nobody can change you. In love of God stands foremost, the first. And they are going to love Jesus Christ in their life, the head of their family. And they are asking you that to pray for us, for our family life, the best. And we have to promise to them too. Today onwards, you will be in our prayers always and we will be praying for you in a very special way. So, in honor of all you are here, and in honor of my name too, I congratulate them. There is a, you know, the, the, the family life, it's a sacrifice. Giving up one on one. Dedicating. There are a lot of things I told them, some of them, when they came to see me. So keep all those kind of things in your mind and walk together with Jesus Christ. Don't go alone yourself. You will fall. But walk with him every day and you will have a wonderful, wonderful life always. And we are all praying for that. Dearly beloved, you have come together here before a minister of the church and in the presence of this community, so that your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seed, and your love be enriched with his blessings, so that you may have strength to be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of this of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. William and Emma, have you come here to enter into marriage with cohesion freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church. Since it is your intention to enter into covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hand and declare your consent before God and His Church. William, do you take Emma for your lawful wife to have and to hold from his this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do you part. <coughs> Emma, do you take William for your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward, to better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in his and in health, to love and to cherish until death do you part. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessings within you. What God has joined, let no one separate. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless this rings which you will have give each other as a sign of love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit.
would be down here. Emma received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. William received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now we will do the universal prayer or the prayer of the faithful. Can you please stand, please? If you would please join me in praying for this couple, Will and Emma, by responding with the phrase, let us pray to the Lord after I say each verse. Dear brothers and sisters, let us accompany this new family with our prayers, that the mutual love of this couple may grow daily, and that God in his kindness will sustain all families throughout the whole world. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For young people preparing to enter marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state in life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all families throughout the world, and for lasting peace among all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all members of our families and all who have passed from this world, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, who are present in our midst, as William and Emma say in their union, accept all our prayers and fill us with your spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God the Father wills that his children be on one heart in charity, that this, those who are Christians call upon him in the prayer of God's family, which our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now let us humbly invoke God's blessings upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the bond of marriage. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and willed that their union be found with your blessings, we humbly beseech you for this your servants who are joined today in marriage covenant. May your abundant blessings, Lord, come down upon this bride and ma and upon William, her husband for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts flame from on high, so that, living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with the children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, Lord, in sorrows. May they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Now I proudly present to you Mr. and Mrs. William Bethsaid and uh, in a kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> Almighty God, bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Congratulations. The king and queen.
I don't know if I should record or do this. <laughs> I've never seen my life. 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 I've never se